Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about all things driving in Ireland, being from America, mainly. Of course, if you're Irish, I'm probably not going to be teaching you much of anything, but it's definitely a big deal if you're coming from the States, because I think a lot of times, and it definitely depends on where you live, but in more so suburban areas of the States, there's not even really public transportation options. And I think overall, it's just a lot more common to feel like you kind of need to have your driving license and you certainly might be used to relying on your car to get you around and over here in Ireland even though there is public transportation I think it's especially not only if you have kids but when you do have kids with getting them to school and back if you have multiple pickup times multiple activities after school and it feels almost necessary to have a car. Yeah, you can get by without one and you know, there's the buses and, and it's, it's first world problems. But long story short, if you are moving to Ireland from, well, America for sure, I can link uh, put a website down below in the description that could give you more information if you're curious on if you were to move to Ireland or if you're planning to move to Ireland and depending on where you're coming from does your foreign license convert over to being an Irish license without having to go through the whole actual process of obtaining your Irish driver's license meaning theory test lessons driving test and all that so for example if you're from Canada I'm not a hundred percent familiar with how quick smooth or easy it is but you don't have to do all of the things I just mentioned your license can just convert over to being able to drive in Ireland like or you can just get your Irish driver's license I'm not sure if you have to give up your own your own foreign license from where you were the country you originally got it from I'm not here to speak on that necessarily but I'm gonna tell you what it takes to be able to legally drive over here in Ireland if you are moving over here being from the United States of America like myself and I'm gonna start off by saying I'm really excited to be making this video because I don't I wouldn't say I was holding off on making it until this happened but maybe in a way I was but I just I've, I've officially now completed the process and I will be receiving my Irish driver's license um tomorrow which is Friday or Monday or Tuesday or something is I passed my Irish driving test this week, two days ago on Tuesday, and relieving is like almost not even a strong enough word. I'll, I'll get into it, but basically getting your Irish driver's license is not really simple. It's, it's lengthy and a little bit challenging. And I guess I would say over here, they're strict and they, it's almost like it feels like they make it kind of difficult to obtain your license. And that I'm comparing it to what I went through. In the States, I did get my license right away, right when I turned 16. I In Michigan anyways, I'm sure it varies a little bit state by state. So yes, as I just said, I have my valid foreign driver's license, my Michigan driving license. When I came over to Ireland, one of my first questions was, can I drive over here? What do I do about getting an Irish driver's license? Can I just swap it over? And I learned very quickly a couple of things. No, you can't just swap it over, but you can drive for up to a year with your foreign um, your, your valid foreign uh, license. But then I was a little bit disappointed to hear that I did have to go through like the whole entire process with a little bit of slack, which I will touch on in a second. But basically as an American, you have to go through the whole process just as an Irish person would when they're getting their uh, driver's license for the first time. I think the one year thing is basically like almost like a tourist thing. But like if you are living here and moving here and settling here and you're yeah officially living here, you have to get your Irish driver's license license. So anyways, I want to say first things first, because I think this is something a lot of people definitely wonder and are curious about, might feel intimidated by. I certainly was intimidated by it. Like I almost lost sleep over it before I actually started driving over here. We drive on the left side of the road and on the other side of the car, the right side of the car. And actually that part was, it was pretty easy to adjust to. I felt really nervous leading up to the first time like that I sat in a car over here and actually drove on the roads. The first time I did, I, obviously with my husband and we took it easy and we were, we were in the right area where I could just gently kind of learn with him and it went really smoothly and I'd literally say even within yeah even from just that first drive I felt 
so much more comfortable than I anticipated and it did not take me long at all to feel completely comfortable. Like I was ready to drive on my own even just after the first day of driving around with my husband for a little while. So that part I do think it's it's not as bad as it seems to get used to driving on the other side of the road and the other side of the car. So I just want to say that and that's coming from somebody who was like really nervous and really works themselves up. What is the process for me as an American with my valid foreign driver's license to get my iron Irish driver's license. First things first is you study for and then you take the theory test. The theory test is a 40 question multiple choice test. It costs 45 euro. Yeah, you schedule yourself at a testing center. Sometimes it can take a little while to get an appointment, um, as you'll see with other aspects. That's one thing, like I think I said earlier, it can be a little bit of a lengthy process. The theory test is was probably like the easiest aspect of it, in my opinion. I got 40 out of 40. I can't remember what number you need to get to pass. I, you don't need to get all 40, but yeah. After that, you get your learner's permit, which means that you can drive with a a, another person who has their Irish driver's license in the car with you. And then from there, you have to take six driving lessons. It's normally 12, but you can qualify for six if you have your, I feel like I've said these words so many times already, but your valid foreign driver's license. You can qualify for six. You do have to send, there's, I think the office is like in Cork. I don't know if it was the RSA or the NDLS, but you just have to like fill out a form. It is pretty simple. You fill out a form and then you send in the mail your My Michigan driver's license. That actually was kind of quick. I was kind of surprised surprised that was like quick and smooth that aspect and they just receive your information and they officially qualify you and give you the okay like yes you can do the six lessons instead of 12 you can't just go in and do the six and expect that they know you have to do that little step to make sure that you just get like the official approval so how much do those lessons cost? I actually just went into my emails and searched it up and went all the way back and found that I did indeed pay 370 euro for those six lessons. So if you happen to want to take the 12 or if you happen to be watching and you, you, you have to take the 12, that's 740 euro. I will say because of how like, I don't know, particular or I guess I'll say for lack of better words, strict they are when it comes to the actual driving test, it is handy to do some lessons lessons just for all the really specific and detailed things that they look for. A really big thing is, you know, observations and checking your mirrors, which makes sense. And I, I will say, you know, with the checking your mirrors and even before you turn your indicator on, you're checking like that side's side door mirror and your rear view mirror. And there's a decent bit of cyclists on the road, at least compared to like my suburban area of Michigan that I came from. So it's obviously really important to be checking your surroundings, even that bit extra to make sure that, you know, you're keeping, well, pedestrians too, but yeah, the cyclists safe on the road as well. I'm gonna have to double check this one. It didn't matter for me because it took that long anyways, but you have to be holding your learner's permit for six months before you can take your driving test. But that brings me to my next segment. So it was like probably on my last driver's lesson, I went to book in for my driving test. And it took me about six months from that point to even get an appointment. So when you go online and you sign up to do your driving test, you're gonna be put on a waiting list. So you pay 85 euro and then you're put on a waiting list. And then for me, it took probably about five months to receive an invitation. And then you go onto the website and they give you a list of dates to choose from. I chose one month out from when I got the invitation because my car had to do the NCT and it had been so long since my lessons. I wanted to give myself time to, you know, go out with Gary, go to the area, feel uh, like I could practice and like really get down all of the specifics that I knew they would be looking for. I watched a good bit of YouTube videos. I'll put his name right here. Just going over again, all the specifics. When you do your road test, before you go out, it's just a few moments, but they ask you maybe about four or five different theory test questions, which I went and familiarized myself with common questions about the theory test that they ask you in the driving test, which was really helpful because like you forget those things. And especially when they're asking you a person, it's not like multiple choice like it is when you do your theory test. And then they ask you some road sign 
questions and then you go out for your drive. It's about 30 to 40 minutes. You have to do reversing around the corner, but then other than that, you're basically just driving around and they're telling you which way to go. They have you pull over to the side a couple of times. They have you do a turnabout. So if you pull over and you're parked like this, you have to get your car and, you know, be facing the, the other direction essentially and they also like to see i think how you pull out from a space there's this phrase i don't know if i'm saying it right well but it i was gonna say go show g-o-s-h-o -O, and that's you put your car in gear then you observe then you signal then you put your handbrake down and then you observe again and then you pull out they have you pull over several times and park like on the side of a residential street i think to see to, that you do that um the, the go show correctly when you are about to pull out from a space so i'll say with the taking the test and you can even see it on the website Sometimes the pass rates like anywhere from between like 40 to 55%, which you know, I feel like is quite low. I don't know what it's like in the States, but I don't think it's as hard to pass your test in the States. I've, I've had people on here comment because this isn't the first time I talked about this. A couple of months ago, I went to take my driving test, but they wouldn't let me even take the test because my proof of insurance paper that is in your vehicle and the windshield was printed with black and white ink so there's this green strip i'll put a picture here that strip is supposed to be green mine was gray because gary just printed it off at work and we literally simply didn't know any better i had waited six months to get my first driving test appointment and then they wouldn't even let me take it and then luckily when you're when you count as a retest whether you fail or if you were denied being able to take the test you do get seen for your next test quicker i think i got my invitation within six weeks and then again i had to push it out a couple weeks because we were going to the states like we were, we were leaving the country so so i feel like i technically passed my test on my first try because the first time doesn't count because i didn't get to test and i feel really proud of myself because another thing is i had talked to so many people about it and a lot of times i think i would say out of everyone i've asked like nine out of ten times people do fail on their first go and these are people like that had been driving for 10 years 20 years in the states you know like people with driving experience or just irish people way back when they did take it um their first time like i said it's a little bit of a lengthy process a little bit strict a little bit particular, definitely a little bit frustrating. And I myself personally know that I can get like worked up or overwhelmed easily sometimes, especially with kind of things like this. And I know anybody would be nervous when it comes to like taking a driving test probably you know even no matter where you're at but i myself in particular can't it's, it's really hard for me to calm myself down my nerves just keep elevating and elevating so this was like it's stressful to anybody to a degree i'm sure but it was yeah it was it felt extra <laughs> stressful to me so it feels really good to get it out of the way any questions leave them down in the comments like i just randomly decided I'm, I'm excited to share especially to people who normally watch my videos i'm excited to say like i finally passed because yes i talk about it in my videos i have to wrap it up thank you guys for watching i hope this information was helpful i do a lot of vlogs but this is definitely more an informational style video when it comes to the process of moving to ireland especially as an american when it comes to driving like i said it can vary on how what you're allowed to do and how you're allowed to get your driver's license depending on where you're from i was always frustrated that the canadians could just swap over their license without having to do all this especially being from detroit which was like 20 minutes from canada but it's all good it's so relieving now if you like this video give it a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel if you feel like you might want to come back for more videos in the future or see any videos in the past that i've posted hope to see you in my next video bye